Hi, Adam Lewis here with Sound Barrier and SoundBarrierHunting.com. So what is the whitetail's most valuable sense that keeps them alive and keeps you from success? We're going to discuss that this week, so stay tuned. So first of all, I want to say we're not talking about the most superhuman sense, but the most valuable sense for whitetail deer. Um, some of their senses are more acute or superhuman than ours are, but we want to look at what is the most valuable to the white-tailed deer at keeping them alive or keeping us from success. And we're going to look at three. We're going to look at sight, the sense of hearing, and the sense of smell. First, let's take a look at sight. Now, I want to really look at the science behind this and not just what I feel or what hunters feel. And I think it's important to really do that if we want to take our hunting to a new level and really understand how to get better. It's really to look at the science and not just maybe what we feel or maybe have encountered that may or may not be a reflection of reality. So we want to look at the science the best we can. So when you look at sight, what the science is showing is that, first of all, sight is around a 300 degree field of view. There's some studies that show 270 all the way up to 310 or 320. So let's just say around 300 degree uh, field of view. Also though, science is really showing that sight is what we call a confirmation sense. This means it has to be tripped, usually by the sense of hearing for them to really hone in on something and really find it useful. Now we've all been caught moving and that's kind of the main point. Uh, on my list, looking at the science, sight is the least valuable for deer because ultimately it boils down to this. Don't move and wear something to break up your form. Science is also showing that deer cannot see detail. They just see more fuzzy things and so all you need is some sort of camouflage, even the old red and black check that hunters used to wear is enough to break up your form and that's all you need and just not move. They see better than we do, especially at low light conditions. But it's more about not moving and not using colors that they see real well, which is the high end of the spectrum. Blues, whites obviously, even forms of gray in there. Stay away from those and you can pretty well get past their eyes. I've seen this many times where I've been in the wide open with regular clothes on and had deer about run me over just because I was not moving and they didn't really see me or have reason to be alarmed. So their eyes aren't the best. Obviously we can get uh, picked off by them, but they aren't the most valuable to deer just because of all those things. And they're really a confirmation sense that another sense has to trigger and that usually is hearing. So I'm gonna scratch that one off the list. Next, let's look at the sense of smell. The University of Mississippi did a study where they found that deer can smell 500 to 1,000 times better than us, and that's similar to a dog. That's really good, obviously. Um, and that also shows that there's a lot of room of air in there and a lot that we do not know. But the bottom line is they smell really good, and we know that. And most hunters, I would guess, think that the sense of smell is most valuable to deer. But let's take a look at really what's going on there. First of all, they can smell a lot better, obviously. Uh, secondly, uh, they also did studies where a lot of our scent elimination stuff now works really good. They did a study on 65 different hunters and different uh, scent concealment compounds, like those sprays and different things we buy. And they worked great on about 29 key compounds to eliminate the smell or eliminate the chemical that was causing the smell. So a lot of the things we have today that are real simple, you don't even need an ozonics unit or something like that or an ozone unit. Uh, a lot of those things work real well to knock down those odors that we in our bodies do make. Still, the sense of smell is really good. I uh, practice scent control the best I can. Uh, basically just taking care of my clothes and making sure they're washed good and they stay in a scent free environment. I have noticed though a lot of times if you brush something with something that is not uh, treated, uh, deer will pick up on that. I've seen deer walk by and smell some grass that I walk through and then turn and go the other direction because they smell something they didn't like. But bottom line, if you take precautions like wearing rubber, whether it be boots or I wear hip boots, rubber gloves, coming and going, if you aren't coming in contact with something or if deer are not downwind of you within probably a 20 or 30 degree range, they are not going to smell you. A major limitation of smell is those two things. 
that unless you come in contact with something and they smell it, or unless they're directly downwind of you within a short window or degree range of the 360 that they have to uh, be alert and detect you in, and the 360 that you have to hunt in, there's just a small window that they can be in and smell you. So that is, even though it's a strong sense, it makes it invaluable in a lot of areas in a lot of that range around them. Also, there's a myth out there, I think, or a thought that if deer are downwind of you, they're always going to smell you. That is simply not true. I've had a lot of times the last few years specifically where deer have been downwind of me and have not smelled me. And they've been downwind of me for a long time. Just this year, I shot a nice buck in bow season on public land in Michigan. And the deer came downwind of me. He crossed my wind several times. He was even downwind of me and standing there for about 15 minutes. And he was only about 40 yards away. And I wound up arrowing him after that. And he had no clue that I was there. He did not win me. Yeah. This thing has shot a real nice eight point in here. He hung up behind me. Busted off there. So just because they're down one of you doesn't mean they're going to smell you if you're doing certain things correctly to cut down on your scent. Last, we have hearing. Science is showing that hearing is, uh, for deer, is better than humans in some ways and about the same in others. It's about the same in as far as the uh, loudness of it, we would call that, the uh, sound pressure level. But where they really have an advantage, obviously, is their big outer ear. And they can swivel those 360 degrees, and that is a key component, 360 degrees, to pick up and hone in on the slightest sound. And that's when their eyes come in to work as well. So those little noises we make matter. Also, deer hear very well in this specific frequency range of the noises we make the most. Walking in leaves, breaking branches, things like that. They hear very well there and that makes sense. Also, they have ultrasonic hearing. So their scent, sense of smell is superhuman and their sense of hearing is as well. They can hear two to three times higher pitch or frequency range than we can. And they can hear noises that we're making that we might not even realize we're making because we cannot hear them. Lastly, if you think about it, in the degrees around a deer or you as a hunter, deer can hear 360 and they can really focus in on noises. Also, noises you make, any noise you make, isn't limited to a direction. It is going to propagate outward and travel in all directions, 360 degrees around you. Versus sight, they have limited range, a little less than 360. And then smell is much less than 360, like we said, maybe 20 or 30 degree range where they're downwind. So hearing is all directions. There's no, you know, don't have to be downwind or anything like that. So that's a huge advantage for their ears at being valuable to them. So we've got sight, we've got scent, and we've got hearing. Obviously, all three of those are very important to deer to keep them alive and keep us from success. But in my opinion, if I really had to rank those based on the science, I would put uh, sight as the least valuable. And right neck and neck, I'd have hearing and scent. And honestly, because of the 360 degree uh, characteristics of hearing abilities of deer, and also the narrow band which they have to scent you in, I would, in a lot of cases, put hearing above scent as the most valuable uh, asset and the most valuable sense of deer. What do you think? I know there's probably a lot of opinions out there. I invite you to put them below. Also, I invite you to subscribe to our page here for more tips and science and sound concealment advice for hunters to help take your hunting to a new level of stealth. Check out our webpage while you're at it. We have some products there that can help you be more silent and never be heard again.